Away from the market, um, Econet Wireless, Zimbabwe's biggest mobile telecoms company, has reported a 10% fall in after-tax profit to $36.2 million, blaming a decline in consumer spending. Revenue for the year to February 2017 fell to $622 million from $641 million uh, in 2016. Now, the southern African nation's economy flatlined last year, uh, while shortages of foreign currency and cash have hit consumer spending, with businesses struggling to pay for imports and repay foreign loans. In January, Econet went to the market to raise $130 million from shareholders to avoid defaulting on its foreign loans, which it was struggling to settle owing to the dollar shortage. In the meantime, South African retailer and wholesaler Spa Group has reported a small fall in half-year earnings per share after issuing shares to fund foreign acquisitions and to settle its share schemes amid uh, black investors. Uh, headline earnings per share fell to 475.5 cents for the six months ended March 31 from 48, uh, 480 cents a year earlier. Headline earnings per share is the main profit measure in South Africa and strips out certain uh, one-off items. The firm, which is expanding into Europe to diversify earnings away from South Africa's volatile round currency, bought SPA Switzerland in 2016. Sales rose 12.6% to 47.4 billion rand, slowing from 16.7% growth a year earlier. And Swiss shipping company, Mediterranean Shipping Company, has signed a 35-year concession agreement with Ivory Coast's second port at San Pedro to operate its container terminal as part of a deal to upgrade the facility. Ivory Coast is the world's leading producer of cocoa and over half of its total output is exported via the port of San Pedro, which is located near the main western growing region. The country's main port is Abidjan, which is one of the region's busiest. Investment for upgrades to the port will total nearly 300 billion CFA francs, including around 130 billion CFA francs from MSC. The Ivorian government said last year that the Bilal Group will partner with the port of San Pedro and MSC on the project, which includes the displacement and extension of the port's container terminal. In the meantime, the Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway has been officially transferred to Kenya Railways Corporation. Uh, that was on Tuesday, Mombasa, marking the final completion of the SGR project. Following the project transferring, a Kenyan president of Kenyatta launched the SGR's first cargo train, transporting goods loaded uh, from Mombasa port and running towards Nairobi at an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. In addition, a contract for the SGR's operation and maintenance was signed on Tuesday. According to the agreement, China Road and Bridge Corporation will provide services including scheduling trains, maintaining rails and trains, transferring relevant technologies to Kenya and help train SGR personnel. The valid period of the contract is 10 years and Kenya authorities will make an assessment on the services provided by CRBC in the fifth year. Another launch ceremony will be held today, that's Wednesday, at Mombasa Terminals, signaling the passenger train of the SGR begin uh, to, put, to be put into use. Let me begin my words by saying, indeed, it is a very historic and proud moment, not just for me, but for every single Kenyan, as we begin to see our journey of transformation. An Italian energy company, ENI, will complete its long-awaited final investment decision on a large liquefied natural gas project offshore Mozambique this week. The Coral South project will require the construction of six subsea wells connected to a floating production facility capable of producing more than 3.3 million tons of LNG per year. 
And in Botswana, the state-owned power utility has invited BAIT to build a 100-megawatt solar power plant to boost energy security in the diamond-rich southern African country. Botswana Power Corporation says it expects energy demand to more than double to 1,359 megawatts by 2035 from around 600 megawatts. The development is expected to start two years from the appointment of a preferred partner. Botswana is facing power supply deficit and relies on electricity imports from South Africa and Mozambique, though the 300 megawatts expansion of its um, coal-fired Moropol B power plant could pave the way to self-sufficiency in electricity generation. We'll take a break now. When we come back, we'll look at uh, the business development in Ethiopia. Just stay with us.